this is the grid that we're going to create today and let me show you the original results so this is the original video that we have from the camera and this is the grid that we created first i will reset all of these so this is already index 709 so i will create two nodes this will be our cst in i will convert our image from rec 709 to log so color space transform input color space to rec 709 because our image is already in rec 709 and input gamma is already rec 709 so we will choose also that and for output color space i will do davinci white gamut and here i will choose cineon film log so now it's converted into log and one node here this will be our cst out because we want to convert back into the rec 709 so paste it here and swap these so first thing is we want to adjust the white balance of it you can see it's a little bit of warm because the warm light is too much on that side we will limit temperature we can do this with many ways like using this temperature or this tone so i get to know about this new trick that is using this linear color space is pretty good so now we'll have to just adjust the gain from the primary wheel it will do the job so i will see here and make the adjustments I'll make sure that I can see the correct color of the wall and the skin tones and the, his clothes. I think here it's fine. So this is before and this is after. There is a little bit of difference in that because we don't want to drag it too much. This is before and this is after. Let's bring the blues a little bit down because they are too much. Round about here. After that, we will apply another node which will be a contrast. We will do this using this global tool. We will increase the highlights around about here so we don't clip the highlights too much. And bring the lights up and the shadows. You can say we can increase them too. And we can decrease the lift a little bit to darken the darker areas and increase this gamma a little bit. Yeah, here we are fine. So this is the contrast. Next, we will do a color correction. You can name it also saturation because we will do the same in this. Uh, I don't want to add too much saturation in this. So we will do this with hue versus hue and hue versus saturation. So I will pinpoint each color. So you can increase the saturation of this turban and increase the saturation of this color. These are the two most prominent colors in this. So it will also include the skin tones. And for this little bit of blues, you can increase the saturation of these two more. And for magenta, you can decrease that. And now we'll go into hue versus hue to make the changes in the color. So for blue, I want to change it to low on about here. So it's not that much prominent in the shot. And for this too, I want to make it more yellow. And this red to be more red. So this is the color correction that we did. And after that, I will apply another node. This will be a power window or gradient. Go into power window and add in gradient. Bring this like that and bring it right here. So our light source is coming from down this. And uh, I think we need to invert this one. Let's say like this. And go here and we will decrease the global. So now this area is more light and this is more darker. So we can create a little bit of depth in our shot. You can see now and next we will use the film look creator plugin of and we will choose this to be clean slate and this film look to blend to 100% and use Rochester and skin bias increase a little bit and we need to make the changes into the white balance a little bit maybe around what here will look good yeah so this is the difference that we made it's adding a little bit of film look and next what we want to do we wanna, don't want to change anything maybe we can increase the saturation more and i think it's too much we will decrease that and go to grain add 35 mm of grains we will create another node and this will be your LUT. we will do go into LUT and choose film looks and deep 60. we will decrease the intensity of by 0.1 it's increasing the density of the colors in our shot and after that 
what we want to do we want to create a note after cst out and this will be the sharpness of our clip we will go into this primary wheel and increase the mid detail to 100 maybe or less according to your requirements and now if i play this video this is it one thing more that i want to do i want to separate the background from the subject and decrease the intensity and maybe add a little bit of blue in the background to distinguish our character from the background so what we will do i will add a depth map here after this i will go in search here depth map so this will give the matte results of uh, our whole image and i want to invert that so i want to affect the backgrounds here and maybe i want to change that a little bit so like this and yeah i think it's good and we will so white areas will be affected and black areas will not be affected with this plugin we are adding that mask so we will dec disable this depth map preview and now either you can do the changes to in in this uh, in this either you can make changes in this node or maybe we will create another node and connect this alpha to this one now we have the same mask on that one you see going to str decrease the exposure of the background or maybe the light see here and add a little bit of blue in the background it all depends on you like which colors looks good to you so I'm adding this little bit of this cyan type color so now you can see our subject is more prominent and there is a much of color contrast between the background and the our main subjects so this is the before like this is how it looks before the depth map node and if we apply that this is how our short will look so this is it if you have any question let me know and if you like this video leave a comment and subscribe to the channel thank you